Wilson Alexander from The Advocate. How are you doing today? Good. How are you? Good. Just to get you started off here, I guess, um, kind of looking back on the last year or so for you, obviously coming in this time last year, you had just kind of transferred from Harvard and everything. How much do you think you've sort of developed over the last year? And what, how will that experience, having already had a year under your belt in the SEC, maybe help you again here in year two? Yeah. I mean, last year um, was obviously a pretty crazy year with COVID and everything. We didn't really get um, – even though, I mean, I got here in the summer last year, but even then we didn't have a normal summer, normal fall camp and everything. So, um, yeah, it was – it's a little more standardized this year. And with, with another year – or with a year of experience now in the SEC under my belt, um, you know, it, it is, it's just another year of, of that I've been able to develop. And, um, you, know, I've, you know, I've enjoyed it. It's been a little bit, a little bit more difficult this year um, in terms of our schedule and whatnot, but I, I've enjoyed it, so – yeah, uh, Bernie Bowes, yeah, I like uh, I mean, just to bounce off that, I mean, like, is there a certain area of, like, you know, like, hey, I went through one year of playing in the SEC, I need to improve this that really jumped out? Yeah, I mean, um, for me, I, my focus this past uh, offseason has just been trying to get bigger, faster, stronger. Uh, you know, just, just obviously it's, you know, I, I feel like I'm, I've been trying to improve a little bit um, in the run game, being a little bit more aggressive. Um, you know that's something that uh, Coach Davis he, he's kind of come in and preach. So, uh, but yeah, really just just trying to get better every single day. So, hey Liam, this is Glenn West with LSU Country. Um, you know, you mentioned Brad Davis there just for a second there. I mean, just you know, he came in with a lot of uh, you know praise for his development and, and you know how he's able to develop players uh, very quickly. I'm curious just maybe if there's a story that. You have, you know, in the early month or early weeks of fall camp, that he uh, has kind of helped you, you know, maybe develop something, and then also maybe how he's helping some of the guys behind you guys in terms of depth and everything like that. Yeah, I mean, uh, something that he's he's done um, coming in is really stress the importance of like development from top to bottom within the room. Um, you know, he he's forced everyone to to get out of their comfort zone and, and to push themselves. Uh, you know, I it's it's good. It's fostering a, a, an environment of you know competition, um, and really just constant improvement. So, hey, Liam, this is Glenn West with LSU Country. Um, you know, you mentioned Brad Davis there just for a second. Um, you know, you mentioned Brad Davis there just for a second. You know, you mentioned Brad Davis there just for a second. You know, you mentioned Brad from this year to uh, from last year, if you could uh, kind of embellish on that. Yeah, I mean, just um, you know, with whenever there's there's a coaching change, uh, you know, a new new head man in the room, uh, yeah, everyone is a clean slate for everyone involved. Um, you know, so every, every day we're everyone's going out there trying to to earn like earn earn their spot, you know. Um, uh, that's that's something that that they always they always preach here. The depth chart is etched in sand. So, uh, you know, every day is is a day where you have to be on your game, you know, and you you have to be be ready to go and get get the team better. So, Liam, obviously, kind of a, a buzz thing all month has been developing that you know depth behind that first team on the O line. I guess what have you seen from the Bradfords, the Turners, some of those guys behind you developing? Yeah, um, yeah, I I've been really impressed with Charles. Uh, you know, he, he's someone, he plays with an attitude, um, you know, that, that I wish I, you know, I, I try to learn from him in, in that sense where he, you know, he, he doesn't take anything from anyone. Uh, just to, he, he's been incre impressive to me. Uh, and then AB, you know, AB's got all the talent in the world and it's coming together. Um, you know, it's, it's definitely been a process for him, but I, I, I personally think that, you know, I think he's, he's about ready to go. So, uh, yep. You mentioned getting more aggressive in the run game. Obviously, you know, it's the priority for y'all in this office to be, as Ed has said anyway, to be 50-50 run pass and stuff. What sort of does it take to get more aggressive in the run game to kind of get back to being really efficient in that area which y'all struggled in sometimes last year? Yeah, you know, it's – it's um, part of it just all comes back to trying to build our identity um, as an offensive line. You know, like what, what type of offense and uh, how, how are we going to be looked at, you know? 
Uh, and that's something that I, I try to take with me um, going into practice. Uh, you know, just, just working on getting our run fits in, our, our combo work. Uh, you know, like what, what we say is the guys that we see in practice every day are, is going to be some of the best competition that we'll see uh, all year. So just trying to take advantage of the opportunities that we have there um, to, to just build our identity as an offensive line. Hey, Liam, yeah, one more for me. Um, you know, obviously last year you got a little bit of experience, but just, just talk about, you know, Cam Wire and his development at left tackle, um, especially now that, you know, you know obviously Bear is gone, but just, just how he's developed over the course of the summer and, uh, you know, how he looks uh, in the early start of the fall camp. Yeah, I mean, Cam is someone who, uh, you know, even last year he, he stepped in when he was called upon. And, uh, you know, with Dare gone, um, you know, he, he stepped up in my eyes. You know, he he's really risen to the challenge. Uh, you know, he you know he wants a job. He wants to be the starting left tackle, and he's doing everything he can to uh, to make sure that happens. So, uh, I'm in, I'm impressed with Cam um, and and how he's kind of matured and and grown into the player that he is today. Hey Liam, Jacques Doucet, WAFB in Baton Rouge. Um, Coach Joe has said that. Uh, he and a lot of guys in the building have a chip on their shoulder right now after what happened last year. Do you sense that? Do you sense more, more of an edge with the team as opposed to last year? Yeah, I mean, I, I do. Um, you know, obviously last year was, was my first year here, so uh, I, I wasn't – I might not have had the same exact feeling that they might have noticed last year. But this year I can – you know, I, I feel like as a team, like we're we're motivated, we're, we're pretty close. Um, you know, I, I feel like we we do a good job of, of being competitive every practice and and pushing ourselves. Um, you know, offense versus defense, uh, just just trying to elevate each other every day. And, and you know, we just got to keep doing that. And before we know it, it's going to be time to, to play the game. So, do you feel like the new coaches have blended in well and the chemistry is better this year? Yeah, I I, I do. I, I like the new coaches. You know, it's it's kind of provided a bit of a spark. Uh, Something that I like I mentioned a little earlier in the interview, uh, just how it, everyone's got a clean slate. You know, everyone, every day. You know that you're playing with coaches who who may you might not be as comfortable with. Um, you know, which kind of sparks a little fire in, in everyone to get going. So, thanks, Liam. Sweet, thank you, guys.